Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys the books that I'm bringing with me to university. So I made this video last year for my first year so I'm going into my second year of university. If you guys are curious I'm doing my undergraduate degree in criminology so yeah I have about 20 books here that I'm gonna bring with me. Last year I brought 40 and it was way too many. And some of them are repeats from last year, I think, because I didn't finish all of them. And yeah, so I have about 20 here that are just for enjoyment. This doesn't include textbooks or school readings. Uh, this is just my fun stuff. So let's get into it. First up here, we have the Necronomicon. I've had this for so, so long. And if you don't know, it's kind of a H.P. Lovecraft's take on a lot of different things. It was originally, originally written in the 18th century, and I think H.P. Lovecraft um, had some contributions to it or denied that it existed or something. So there's just so much around this and I really want to go through it, read it, highlight and annotate it so much. Like I just want to dive right in. I want to tab it all up. Like I just want to learn so much about what's in here and learn more about what it is because I only know a few things. So I would love to actually read it and learn what this whole book entails. Next up here I have the Poppy War and this book I'm super excited about. It's a high fantasy story. It's supposed to be super brutal and I believe it takes some inspiration from Chinese mythology. Yeah with Chinese um, history is involved in this and I know it's about a military school and our main character goes there I believe and it's supposed to be really brutal. It's supposed to kill you. This book has so much hype especially on book Twitter and Jesse from Bowtown and Books encouraged me to pick it up. So I'm really excited about it. Even though I don't read a lot of fantasy, I still feel like I'm going to really enjoy this one. Next I have Birthday by Meredith Russo. I've owned this for so long and has these beautiful rainbow edges. But this follows a transgender main character and it's a love story. Uh, Meredith Russo wrote If I Was Your Girl, which I freaking loved when I read it. It was phenomenal. It's also about a transgender main character. It's incredible. Highly recommend that. I read it years ago. But yes, so I'm super excited to pick up another work by this author and I'm really excited. I've heard such great things about it. It's one of those books I've been stalling even though I think I'm gonna really like it. Next I have A Mother's Reckoning. These are all like little UK. These are all little UK paper bags if you haven't noticed. That's why they're so, I don't know, they're little. I kind of always like that about when I order off Book Depository. But this is A Mother's Reckoning by Sue Klebold and this is written by one of the mothers of the, one of the Columbine shooters. And it's I think her take on it and kind of some stuff that went down and about the kid's life I think. Uh, but it follows the mother's journey and she's trying to like grieve and come to terms with something her son did. Something I'm sure she never expected to happen or expected him to do. Um, so I just think it's gonna be super interesting and it talks about the aftermath of the Columbine shooting. I have some books on the Columbine shooting that I do want to read eventually but I'm just gonna bring this one up for with me for now. So I have Wicca by Harmony Nice. Harmony Nice is a YouTuber and she's a great YouTuber if you're looking to get into anything Wicca or Richcraft related definitely check her out. Uh, she's how I learned a lot of things at the beginning for sure. I watched a lot of her videos. She, she's beautiful and the design of this book is beautiful. Definitely check her videos out if you're trying to get into Wicca or rich, witchcraft but I just got this to do more research. I don't necessarily identify as Wiccan but like I just practice witchcraft. However I still really want to read this and it's supposed to be really insightful. So this book does talk about Book of Shadows, different deities, mental health, uh, meditation, kindness, spell work, that kind of thing. And I'm just really excited, especially to see her take on it, maybe how she got started, that kind of thing. I also have the Black Arts. I almost hit myself in the face. So this book talks about witchcraft, demonology, demonology, all sorts of fun stuff. I honestly don't know too much about this book, only that it's just this big wor work full of um, <laughs> Black Arts, I guess. Um, the Magician's Truth, The Number Revealed. They just have so many things in here and I'm really excited just to learn about them because a lot of them I don't know much about. Numerology, stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to it. There's some little pictures in here too, little graphs. Next up here I have The Exorcist and I bought this for Halloween ish time. I brought it for that reason. I bought it last year actually at the Strand. It's so cute. No, I bought it in 2018 at the Strand and it was only $13.49 which is pretty good. But I don't know much about the story other than that the movie is like very highly acclaimed and I've seen a lot of clips from the movie. I heard a lot about the movie. I've seen parts of it. I've never seen the whole thing and yeah it's supposed to be super creepy and I'm really excited to read it. Uh, this says the most terrifying novel ever written. So we gotta trust that and see if it's any good. Um, I'm super excited about this one. Next up here I have Watch Us Rise. This is by Renee Watson and Ellen Hagen. This is about our two main characters and I believe they start like a club 
and it's very women expressing their ideas, their creativity. Uh, but the two girls turn their voices to this online outlet kind of thing and there's like essays on there and poems and suddenly their work goes viral and people kind of try to investigate who they are I think and I don't know. I'm really excited about it. I've heard great things and I know that's gonna be like, I know this is gonna be like pro Black Lives Matter, I know it's gonna be pro feminism, so I'm super excited for this. Spine is really cool too, I'm really glad I got this book. Next I have volumes one through three of Heartstopper. I am super excited about this. I've read the first two volumes and I just need to read the last one, but I'm gonna bring them with me and definitely read them a few times, but I wanna read them over. Like I wanna read the first two over and then read this one. If you don't know, Heartstopper. Is this one and it's about these two boys and it's really cute it's about these two boys that meet and it's really wholesome i believe the first or second volume talked a bit about sexual assault in it or uh, some other triggering topic so i'll put that on the screen whatever it is so you guys know but yeah they're so good and the art's really cute if you don't know the art's actually black and white i always thought it was colored and then i realized it wasn't and i was like oh um which is okay, but I think the webcomic is, I don't know. But yeah, it's really cute, a really cute art style. And if you wanna have a good read and just a good time, read those. Next up here, I have Felix Ever After. I'm so excited about this. This has been really hyped recently. And I think for good reason, like it's supposed to be really, really good. I know it's about a trans main character and I believe some photos come out of our main character before their transition. And that starts something in a school and things like that. That's all I know. I don't want to know a lot going into it. I heard it's amazing. Super excited. I've had it displayed on my bookshelf for a while just because I was like, read it. Here it is. It's also beautiful. So, but yeah, I'm super excited to read this one. I also have Stay Gold, which is another like 2020 release. Uh, this also follows a trans main character. That's all I know about it. Um, oh my God, the main character's name is Pony. Is that like Pony Boy Curtis? Like, you know, Stay Gold. Okay, I'm gonna. Is there gonna be a huge reference to The Outsider? by Essie Hinton in here, The Outsiders. <laughs> who knows, who knows? I guess we'll find out. I, Tyler Johnson was here by Jay Coles. I've been meaning to read this one for a while. You guys have probably seen it in my recent videos um, and my recent TBR videos, but I've been meaning to read this one. It's about a boy whose brother was shot and killed by police. And so this book does deal with police brutality and the struggles of being black. And I've heard this is really good. I think this book is gonna be super hard hitting. So I'm really excited to pick it up. Um, I know it's gonna deal with some hard issues, but I'm looking forward to see how J. Coles handles this and talks about the subject. If you've read this, let me know down below what your thoughts are. Let me know your thoughts on all of these books down below if you've read them. Or if you haven't, let me know which ones you want to read. When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. I was supposed to do a buddy read for this and I kind of just, I don't even know, like it started and I just didn't read it. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, Kayla, for being a bad buddy reader, but I'll read it soon and tell you what I think about it. But I only read 20 pages of it. I, don't, I really don't know what happened. I've been kind of going in and out of reading slumps, and then sometimes I just don't feel like reading. So, yeah, but clap when you land. It's told in verse, and it's about these two sisters, I think, and I think they meet partway on an airplane, something like that. I don't know. It's about two sisters, I think. I know this book talks about like grief and love, and I've loved both of Elizabeth Acevedo's works, specifically with The Fire on High, because it was amazing. So I'm looking forward to picking this one up and actually finishing it soon. So here I have The Outsider by Stephen King. So I am currently reading this, so I'm going to be bringing that with me to university because I extended the, we're doing a buddy read right now in my Goodreads group. So I extended the buddy read till maybe the 20th, I think of September, I'll put it on the screen. And just to give you guys more time to read it. And then I picked the next two. Well, from the help of you guys, I put a poll on Twitter and you guys helped me decide the next one. And then the second result, no, yeah. So I put a poll on Twitter. You guys helped me decide the next read. And then I picked the one after that. So let me share with you guys what those are. So starting about like end of September, going into October. We're going to be reading Night Film by Marisha Pessel. This book has been around for so long. I assume a lot of you guys have read it, but I put it on my poll and I was really shocked that I won. I really wanted The Exorcist to win, to be honest, but it's okay. <laughs> I'll still read it, but like I'll still read The Exorcist. But Night Film, only thing I know about it, thriller, very highly acclaimed. A lot of people have been talking about it for years. I literally got it up a, a bargain section. It's also very pretty on the inside, but it has a mixed media in it, which is really cool. So I think it has like more like case files. What is this? Websites, crime scene photos, like that, probably that kind of thing in here. So I'm super excited. It has really good paper too. That's kind of a weird thing to talk about with the book, but it has really nice paper. 
quality. But yeah, we're going to be reading this one next. So if you want to join, definitely check out the Buddy Read group. You can read things at your own pace if you need more time. If you need a day, whatever, take your time and comment on the threads and stuff if you want. But yeah, uh, I'm excited to read this one with you guys in about a month. But The Outsider, I'm low-key behind on, so I need to catch up. <laughs> the book after that for our, our the Buddy Read is going to be like end of October going into November. So that's going to be Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and Owen King. I'm really excited to read this one. This one, a lot of you guys, I did a poll in the past for Stephen King books and a lot of people wanted to read this one. And I just know like it's a newer release of his. So I feel like we're kind of going through some newer releases, like If It Blades the Outsider, you know, stuff that's come out in the last like five years. I don't know too much about this one, but I like kind of going into King's books pretty blind or not knowing too much. Something happens when women go to sleep. They get in like some cocoon if they're awakened in the wrapping is disturbed or violated, the women become feral and violent. Oh, that's fun. I didn't know it was about that. Like I knew something was sleep, but yeah, that sounds pretty cool. So I'm excited to pick this up. Hopefully you guys will also join me for this one if you feel like it. So here I have The Starless Sea and this is by Erin Morgenstern. I freaking love her book, The Night Circus that came out. I've also met the author. She's just really cool. And I still haven't read The Starless Sea yet. And I also have her other book, The Fountain of Silence that I need to read, but this one so many people say it's their favorite book ever and i'm so excited to read it like i i bought it when it came out Ooh, it's beautiful and it was like a it was also an ex Ooh, what's this oh there's a little bookmark in here isn't that cute okay i didn't know that um <laughs> but yeah i'm super excited to pick this one up and read it again i don't know too much about this book in particular but i'm super excited to go into this blind because i don't know what to expect I just know it's supposed to be really good and I'm just happy like I'll be happy to like get back to her writing style so yes and lastly here we have Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco this is the fourth book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series these books follow Audrey Rose who is she's super a bad super badass female love her uh she works in a forensics which is really really cool so some of the books are a bit more gruesome than your average like thriller I guess uh, some of the books, like some of the first few books do describe like some of the, her forensic stuff and like some of the stuff she's doing on the bodies. So just like keep that in mind. But this book, phenomenal. Like I was about to say phenomenal. <laughs> the cover is phenomenal. But this book I'm really excited to read. I absolutely loved the second and the third book in this series. So I'm super excited to pick this one up and come on, Capturing the Devil. Like look how cool this one looks. Like I'm so excited. Uh, again, this one I've been putting off because I'm like, oh, well, I'm waiting for the right time to read it. And then what's the right time to read it? I don't know but I, I keep doing that where I'm like I'll wait for the right time the right moment where I can devour it and enjoy it and then that time just takes forever so I just gotta make myself read it <laughs> but yeah um, I'm really excited about this one if you guys have read this series let me know if you've read this last book I haven't heard anyone talk about the last book and their thoughts so let me know if you've read it and there you guys have it those are all the books that I'm bringing up with me to uni if you're wondering what my upload schedule is going to look like I really don't know um, I'm only gonna be bringing my vlog camera up instead of my DSLR, so you're not gonna be seeing these bookshelves for a while, unfortunately. But yeah, hopefully I'll be able to film when I come home every now and then and also do some vlogs up there. But let me know what you guys would like to see. Um, if you wanna check out my last two videos, I posted a recent reads talking about a bunch of the books that I've read. And yeah, I, I talked about 10 books in that video, so if you wanna check that out, it's going to be linked down below. I also have a review up for If It Bleeds by Stephen King. So if you want to know my thoughts on that book and like each story, then check that video out. But yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys are all staying safe and doing well. I'll have some links down below for you guys to help with the Black Lives Matter movement. And yeah, I'll see you guys super soon with a new video.